Elon Musk has been in the news for a lot of things in recent times, from matters related to him recently buying at Twitter for $44 billion to memes about his past relationship with Amber Heard. Elon Musk has touched all areas of the world affairs to make headlines. The next big news about him is the spaceship he has been building, which reportedly has come a long way since it started. Stay tuned till the end of this video and you will see a few of the latest updates that will help you stay updated with everything that is going on around you. Welcome back to this channel, where we will deal with Elon Musk and the spaceship he built in 7 days. Hit the like button and subscribe to this channel as this will let us know if you are interested in such topics. We would like to also hear your views on the spaceship, so make use of the comment section to make this entire duration a lot more interactive. So what is this whole deal about? There have been rumors that Elon Musk and his teams have been able to build a spaceship for a particular operation in just 7 days. As Elon sets a whole new record for creating a new spaceship in just 7 days, it is clear that things will look more progressive for the tenure industry. This is something that Elon has been doing ever since he came into the market. Making revolutionary changes in the manner things have been working is something he has started loving to do. A lot of critics are worried about the reliability of an aircraft that was created in just 7 days. Well, that is something that will need time to be proven, but for now, let's stick to what has happened. Elon Musk has been claiming for a while now that he intends to inhabit Mars and make it a planet habitable to humankind. He has also asserted that he will start sending people into space in 5 years. The production of a rocket at such a pace may just be the first step into making a dream come true. We say that keeping in mind that once Mars exploration gets a node and is underway, the demand for space vehicles will increase multiple times. This will call for human beings to speed up the process and make sure that there is no delay in sending essentials up to Mars in an attempt to colonize it. Even though Elon Musk has openly admitted to making Mars warmer by blowing up two nuclear bombs on either pole of the planet, we don't think that he's the sort of person who would do so. Or maybe, will he? Considering the fact that he just bought Twitter for $44 billion in cash just to inculcate free speech. So the reports that we have received so far suggest that Elon Musk and his team have been building a spaceship. This time, however, they did not name it the Starship. We also know that this ship will be a private spaceship for regular use. Just the way all of his other actions have been. This time as well, the plan of building another spaceship started as a joke. It didn't take long for the people to realize that it was not in fact a joke. While he was attending an event with NASA, he decided to share a picture of the new spaceship and did so. This is what makes it all official. So, what does it look like and how efficient is it? The spaceship is ready to be unveiled at any moment. It is just a matter of time before we see a totally new kind of spaceship that will be to cater a lot of the needs that humankind has at the moment. The spaceship is said to have the ability to transport people rather quickly and be able to make precise maneuvers with reusable capabilities. It is unclear if Elon intends to use the spaceship for tourist purposes. The concept of space tours looks like a concept that could come much later than today. Elon has been working on a plan that could help him increase the pace at which we have been looking forward to making it a possibility. As SpaceX was started in 2002 with just $100 million of Elon's own money, he was certain of the kind of progress he would like to make with the company. There have been multiple times when the mission failed during testing and the company almost gave up. Since the start, Elon has been dedicated to Mars and tapping out the resources present on the surface. He aims to make sure that the passengers get to travel in space in less than 30 minutes, and he has been able to do so through the latest spaceship being developed. From what it sounds, it is a very ambitious project that, if successful, could change the way we have been looking at space travel drastically. Now only this if he intends to do so. He will make sure to charge nothing more than $10 per seat on the spaceship. So, something that was being sold for millions of dollars will now be available at very low price for everyone to access. Even though there is not a lot of data on how he's planning on getting it done, based on the information that we have, we can be sure that he is planning on starting the testing process pretty soon. 
This will help him gain more statistics and numbers, which he can use to make the spaceship better. But there is one question that has not been answered anywhere. What is the hurry in developing something of this kind when there isn't a lot of statistical data available to indicate that Mars is ready to get started with inhabitants on it? The ship will be ready by 2024 and is said to be able to carry 100 people to Mars. So, it's just a matter of a couple of more years before we actually start seeing shuttle trips to Mars and then soon to other planets. Now, if you're thinking of the reason for this high speed genuinely, you will probably come to a conclusion that the real reason behind it is the fact that he would not want NASA to reach Mars faster than him. He has been one of the most interesting people on the Earth to reach Mars and start colonizing it. He has also been intending to turn this interest into a reality and has for years been working on it. We have told you quite a lot about the spaceship, except its name. The name of the ship that was built in 7 days is the Hopper. It has 8 legs and can easily fit inside a Falcon 9 rocket. Now, all of this information was not disclosed too late after everything was built. This makes us feel that there are high chances for us to be able to see a lot more of these and a lot more prototypes that are still kept secret. If that is the case, it may be safe to assume that by the time Mars becomes a reality, SpaceX will have its own fleet of spacecrafts ready to carry people up to Mars. Elon has been saying that though the ship that they have in front of them right now is for testing purposes, as time passes, it will help them in assisting 100 people at a time for a trip to Mars. Musk even says that because it has been built in just a week. There are chances that we may have some issues with it in the initial stages. He then says that these issues will no longer be the ones that will exist in the next version of it. So, the only intention of the spaceship that he just built was to test out its capabilities. One of the main reasons why he could complete it in a week is because of the unconventional design that he undertook this time. He also made use of 3D printing technology that Blue Origin has to gain a better understanding of all of the essentials on board. Now, building a spaceship is a hard task considering that NASA took years so long a billion dollars over the budget to do the same. What makes it even more special is the fact that it can bring in a lot of people together. Towards its objective of colonizing Mars, building a spaceship is in itself a huge task to accomplish. With the use of thousands of parts and hours of labor, a rocket has to go through multiple checks to finally declare it safe for commercial uses. When it comes to a rocket being used to send as many as 100 people out to space, the stakes are that much higher and hence need to be well planned. So, with that, we have come to the end of the video. Elon's plans seem to be taking good shape and we'll come back to you with more updates as and when something new happens here. Hit the like button and subscribe to this channel to keep learning more every day. We'll meet you in the next one.